Good morning guys. My latest 3D print. Still running it too hot I think. A lot of stringing going on. Yeah, gonna have to do a bit of cleaning up there. Still, what does that look like? That's supposed to be a catapult launch rocket that'll carry a parachute. Yeah. Okay. A while back, I bought a toy uh, catapult launch rocket, which shoots up in the air and then comes down with a parachute. I wanted to try and make one of my own. So that's what this is. I 3D printed it. I've simplified the design from the... Uh, the shop bought one so it probably won't work i've got a bit of cleaning up to do as you can see that's all the support layers there to trim off but my design here is based on hinge at the top with a peg to go through it these fins at the back are angled so as it's going up they should be holding it closed and then when the air pressure reduces as it slows down, they should flip open as the air pushes there as they start falling down again. Of course, if it tips straight over and comes down that way, then they'll still be held closed. So there's quite a few um, design shortcomings in this. But I just wanted to make it as simple as possible. So hinge there, parachute goes inside. There's a couple of holes at the top there to tie the parachute strings around. So in theory, it goes up, it flips open, the air catches the parachute and pulls it out, or it just falls out. And then hopefully, before it hits the ground, the parachute will have had time to open and slow the descent. The shop bought one was quite complicated. It had a um, rubber band inside it used as a spring to actually flick it open. Uh, whereas I'm just relying on the air pressure on there. We'll see. I'll tidy it up. Um, I've got to make a parachute to go with it just a bit of uh, polythene ba bag or something which is amusing polythene bags are hard to come by now uh, shops don't use them anymore in the uk or well, they try not to they used to sort of give them away free with everything but now due to green concerns you don't get plastic bags very easily anyway i'll clean that up and see if we can make a parachute. So I've cleaned it up a bit. The peg that goes through the front there is the hinge. I've just melted the end of it. Can we see that? Yeah. Just melted the end of it to stop it falling out again. So I got that. If this hits the ground too hard, all this at the front's just going to break anyway. It's fairly thin PLA. So we'll fly it over grass and hope that it doesn't shatter on the first landing. So now I've got to go and find some thin plastic, plastic bag of some sort. Oh, well, I found a plastic bag.
So I'll cut it open and just make the biggest circle I can. Well, it just happens that that little table is the right size circle to make best use of that plastic bag. So I've drawn round it and I'll cut it out. Folded it in half. And I'll fold it in half again. And then fold it in half one more time. And then if I cut holes in it, well, what I'll do is I'll mark it. So that'll give us eight holes. And so I'll mark it, then I'll put tape over where the marks are, and then I'll probably melt holes through with a hot wire. So sticky tape over it to strengthen the hole hot wire through it to actually make the hole and that should give us eight holes equally spaced around the circle. I didn't actually mark it because by folding it I've got lines showing me where I need to put the tape so I'll put a bit of tape over each of these folds where the folds were and as I say then I'll melt through it with a hot wire. Roughly an inch square. So do that all the way around. There we go. Hot wire. Just melted a hole in each one. So now I've got some kite string I'll use to make the actual harness, whatever you want to call it. And then see if we can actually fold this up small enough to go inside the rocket. Because if it's too big, it's not going to work. Just thought I'd check that, and it certainly fits in all right. Folds down nice and small. Right, kite string. Just going to tie a loop in the end of it and do it with my fat fingers like that. Uh, what sort of length do we want? Then that loop. I'm going to poke through the hole. And stick this string through it. Like that. So we'll repeat that however many times it is. Right, done that. Get hold of it in the middle. Should be able to tie this off. And trim them up. I'll actually put them in a flame just to stop them fraying because you'll see they do fray quite easily. Not that it matters, but I just want it to be neat. So I've poked it through the two holes. What I think I'll do now is if I divide that into half and feed the whole thing through it, So 
so there we are. Whether that's a big enough parachute for that weight, I mean, at the very least, it will make it look right, even if it doesn't slow it down much. I could just try and throw it in the garden to see what it lands like. Or we could go out and actually try it out. Right, we're in the garden. I'm just going to throw it up in the air by hand. No, no rubber band, just to see if it springs open. Well, it did, it sprung open. It didn't have enough time to actually unfurl. But the basic principle worked. So we'll, um, we might go and have a go with it. Go and see if I've got a catapult in the car that we can use. Right. All we want to do is see if the parachute opens. So we've got a random grass area here. It's a little bit of a breeze coming from that way. So if it goes up, it might drift that way. The rubber bands I've got are rubbish. They're a bit old and they're breaking already. It on there, hold it shut. <laughs> right, well, it opened straight away that time. That wasn't quite the intention, so I'll tidy it up a bit tighter. As I say, in the shop bought one, there was actually a rubber band mechanism to release it, to actually spring it open. Held it shut until the right time. That's better. <laughs> well, a better launch, but we didn't open that time, so there's got to be a a midpoint, too tight and too loose. Too loose the first time, too tight the second time. Still too tight. <laughs> Just opened. I expect that's probably as good as we're going to get. <laughs> that's catching the breeze when it's open. Yeah, we got it. Oh, perfect. Well, I hope we got that on camera. I'll go home and find out. That's all we wanted to do. Launch it and get it to come down on the, cat on the parachute. So that's about as simple a design as you can get. And the trick is getting the parachute folded right so it comes out and the wind catches it and opens it. Obviously the higher you shoot it, the more time it's got to do that. But that worked. Job done. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 
leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.